Hey, this is Jeremy Strength in Numbers. You're probably hearing commercials, you're probably hearing it from a broker about this insurance, that insurance, but I'm gonna to talk to you today about which ones you should avoid. You've seen the commercials, I know you have, with a certain duck and a certain broken skier and all these different things that are advertising insurances that seem to make sense, right? But some of them, they're actually gimmicks. So I'm gonna walk you through five specific kinds of insurance you today that you should avoid. And just a reminder as we get into this topic, I do not sell any financial product, including insurance, so you know that I'm only telling you what's in your best interest. I have nothing to gain or lose from your decision on these matters. So let's get into the topics today. First, we're gonna talk about life insurance for kids. This is the first gimmick you should avoid. Kids do not have a need for life insurance. Now, if we wanna, God forbid, take care of their final arrangements, should that ever happen? Oh, what a fun topic, right? We wanna make sure that we have a rider on our own existing life insurance policies. And we can learn more about what exact amounts you should have for life insurance in the video I'm gonna put here below, uh, referencing a life insurance video I've talked about before but kids themselves do not need a separate insurance policy. A rider on your existing policy with just enough for burial and funeral arrangements and things like that is sufficient. Life insurance for kids is unnecessary and it's a gimmick. Second is cancer insurance. Cancer insurance is a gimmick. You know what else also covers cancer? Health insurance. Have a good quality health insurance policy and you'll be not having to worry about covering cancer costs. Now, if you're not able to qualify for a good health insurance policy, you're probably gonna not qualify for a cancer policy too, or it's gonna be much more expensive. Most likely, you do not need cancer insurance. That's another gimmick. Third is mortgage insurance, also known as mortgage protection. The concept here is that it's gonna pay off your mortgage for you when you die. Now, it's important to understand that having the proper amount of life insurance is what part of what life insurance is for, is to pay off these debts that you leave behind when you die, including a mortgage. And so we can talk more about that in the life insurance video I mentioned earlier, and you can catch that link and watch that information. But it's important to understand that having good term life insurance is better option than this. In fact, it costs less than mortgage insurance, and the mortgage insurance, the value goes down as the balance of the mortgage goes down. So it's not always cracked up to be, and this is another gimmick you should avoid. Fourth is accidental death and dismemberment insurance, commonly looked at as AD&D when you're looking at, especially on a pay stub. And the concept here is that if you were to die by accident, your family gets twice the benefit. Great, okay, but your family's financial needs don't change. And this is where term life insurance, again, is taking care of that need, and you don't need to pay double for double coverage. Yeah, looks like a real nasty moving back in with his parents. What? No, I just broke my leg. No, this is a full-blown move into the basement. You're gonna be out of work. Bummer, man. Hey, I used to have my own place. Yeah? <laughs> nah, I live with my mom. But it's cool. Then break your ankle. Now, since you could be out of work, you may not be able to afford those fancy flapjacks every Sunday. Or even continue your dog walking service for Dragon. Sorry, Dragon. However, with the right coverage, this could happen. because health can change, but the lifestyle you live doesn't have to. Dragon! I always laugh when I see the commercials for this one because it's usually that they're billing that you can only maintain this lifestyle that you lost due to an accident if you have our insurance. Well, how about a good old fashioned emergency fund? That's what accidents are, emergencies in most cases. And so you can cover this much, uh, much easier by just saving the money yourself and putting that premium towards your emergency fund savings. If you got three to six months of emergency funds, you can take care of a job loss or a short-term disability and other things like that. So don't buy into the accident insurance. In fact, if you're having enough accidents to make it worthwhile, it's probably another issue you should get checked out. Make sure that with your doctor, there's nothing else going wrong there because you shouldn't be having that many accidents. I hope this has been helpful information for you. This has been Jeremy with Strength in Numbers, helping you keep your wallet heavy and your heart light.